What's up YouTube? It's your boy Steve from the Valley Garage and today we're doing a little nifty trick. We're going to put a front pouch on the front of this here Fury. Check it out. As you know, the Honda Fury, let me tell you, is one of the sickest, cleanest bikes you've ever seen. Why? Because it is. You know if you've got it. We all know it. That's the truth. There it is. Look at the lines on that, everything. Everything about it is so cool. It's so simple and clean. Now, with that being said, I was going with the less is more kind of look and um, in this instance, now I'm filming more. I'm gonna have two cameras. I need batteries. I need all kinds of stuff. So I'm prepping for a Fury ride. But what I'm gonna do today is install the brand new, not new, but new to me, Honda Fury official OEM front pouch. That was an accessory that came with the Furies back in 2010. You can still buy them now. This is on Amazon. You can get them anywhere, but check it out. So in the box, you've got yourself a plain real leather case. It's got Fury right in there. It's very simplistic. Doesn't have the frillies on there. It ain't got studs or nothing. It's plain. And it's gonna definitely complement the lines of the bike. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna be installing this here. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the turning singles up, low, you like the turning signals up, low? If I did it low, I have the pouch here. Then I have the lights on either side, but I kind of like, but if I kept them up, if I did the pouch here, I don't know if that's too busy. What do you think? Comment below, do you like that up top? Do you like it down below? I know some people do them here. Some people do them, some people do them here. They do them here, down low, but I gotta be wiring up my batteries to set up this camera rig, so I'm thinking there, but up top might be good as well. Huh, I gotta think about this. Well, you know, and it would be cool here to gain easy access if I'm at a stoplight and shit like that, but Honestly, I think down here definitely looks better. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to install it once so I don't have to keep installing it. But uh, so, yeah, what do you get? You get the pouch. My carpet. You get the pouch and uh, and that's it. So here we go. Dude, oh, it just smells so good. I love that. Oh, I love new. That's why I buy out stuff all the time. I love the new smell. All right, we got here instructions because I don't know. We'll figure this out. Step one, take your buckle, your buckle out. You want to unclip it, all right? You need two halves. What you're going to do next is you're going to take this piece and feed it through the whole bike. You want to, our strap here. You want to feed it through the strap it's got a little nodule, it's hard to do. So you just slide a little bit up so you can pull out the inner piece and then slide that out. You wanna be able to have it flat like this. Same thing on the other side. Push your excess up, pull out the bottom strap Pull it out the other bottom half. That way their buckle is only going in through one direction. So now that you got your straps, you can feed it through the holes. You can wrap it in any different way, top and bottom here to go around your, around your wraps. You can go from left to right, wrap it this way. What I'm gonna do is the normal setup. So you wanna take your cable here with the buckle upside down. I'm gonna feed through this slot here.
Okay. Then I'm going to feed through the true to bottom. Like this. I'm going to feed it through and do that with the both both sides. Mother. So now you're going to have your buckles up top and the straps coming through the bottom like so. Now what you're going to do is feed it back through the bottom loop. So you can pull this part tight and adjust it how way you want it. And then the excess will go around and clip. So to make room, push some slack through it, send it through the clip. That way you now have a sliding adjustable strap where this can go up and down depending on where you are putting it on the bike. Do the same for the other side. All right, so now you got your straps just like this. Next up, you take your straps, send it true to triple tree, I'm gonna wrap around, stretch out your tabbies, and clip. From there, you're set. Now all you gotta do is you just grab your pinch points and pull the straps in. Make it nice and tight for you and you're on. It's like triple X right here. I want all that in here. Especially for this big Fury ride, this is the setup I'm gonna have. Of course, I got business cards, camera mounts, two of them, hand mount for when I'm actually talking and you know interviewing people and whatnot, or going out and filming by hand if I'm at a location. My phone, a couple stogies, my cigar torch, cutter, extra batteries, and some promo stickers, phone mount, cabling, GoPro, this GoPro that we're on right now, and this I picked up as an anchor power brick. Big power brick so I can charge my phone. Also, two GoPros, I can have Google Maps playing or whatnot if I'm going somewhere I don't know before. So I'm gonna get all this basically on the bike, through the bars, in the patch. Let me tell you, don't tell me you ain't gonna fit. It'll fit. I think what I should do first is get my phone mount up. So my phone mount, this is the Joy Room. Uh, what I really like about phone mounts and camera mounts, especially these kind, is they're rubberized that grab onto the bars. So, you know, you could wrap things around and you're not marring up your paint, but also helps with anti-vibration. I know the GoPros like this have on there the built-in um, Motion Pro where it helps stabilize uh, vibrations, but definitely um, having an additional rubberization on things will definitely help the camera shake. So, when it's nice about these is, you can set up your phone. It's got a little lock button, engages, and then you can lock the back. And then this can adjust to really wide. So I could get it on the bar and tighten it down. Bam. Phone's mounted. Now, what's nice about this is it's multi-directional, so I can like maneuver things, get camera shots that I want of me, of wherever else, you know, that's, I find interesting. I can keep rolling with the film and just quickly turn and set in motion and grab all that I can see. So I'll spin this around like this, mount that, there we go. Now, what's sick about the Anchor Power brick is it's got three 3.0 USB spots. So I can plug in all the accessories and cables that I need right into it and have several hours. This thing can charge a laptop from dead to nothing. A lot of great reviews. 
I like, there, there are bigger ones, there are smaller ones, but I went with this size simply because it fit, it looks like it would fit just perfectly in the pouch. So there it is. And now I can close this up and now I have my power brick. So now I can have my leads come out underneath, charge my phone, come around the side here, charge the GoPro. I can zip tie certain things to hold it down. Also, when I bought the Anchor, I also bought their, their cables themselves and they come with these nice little um, Velcro straps so you can really tighten up and do your nice even cable work. But that's cool. So I got a GoPro on there and I got my phone already hooked up. Charging. Yep, charging. Got this charging. Ah. Uh. I think the real trick is to see if I can get all this other stuff in. Power bricks in there. I got my two cigars, my cigar torch, my cutter, three extra GoPro batteries. Business cards for the destination ride that I'm going to. 100 of my custom stickers to hand out for people who go to the ride. My little makeshift handheld camera so I can talk while I'm going off the fly. Oh. Huh? Told you gonna fit. Where you going? Nowhere, that's right. Perfect. That'd be the rig. I got my camera I can swivel around. I got my phone for direction. I got this GoPro that can go sit right on here, perch right like that. That's the view it's gonna see. Got my phone all hooked up. Excess wire, I can tuck around, zip tie around, neaten up a little bit. I think that's a great rig. I think it's gonna work out great. Obviously I had more time to plan this out because the last two Fury rides were impromptu. Uh. But these are just some accessories that you can put in your bike that I use for my day to day or driving around or filming content and whatnot. You can do it too. I mean, I will overfill this pouch just a tad bit, oh, a bit. But other than that, you know, the world's your oyster. There's hundreds of products out there. These happen to be the ones that I use, like I said but I'll put links in the description below of all this different stuff, especially the foam mount. Awesome. I don't want to get those quad locks. This thing is perfect. This fully customization, full metal, rubber grommets on both. It's not gonna mar up your paint and it all fits perfect. Well, that's today's episode. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I'm all hooked up for any ride I'm gonna go to now. I got two GoPros tandem. It's gonna be fantastic. Links in the description below of all these products so you too can have the same setup as me. Y'all take care. Enjoy the weekend. Hope you learned a thing or two. All right? Peace. <laughs>